Hello friends and enemies of DaVinci Resolve 16. My name is Nico and I'm right between the two poles. I like the software a lot and the whole concept of Blackmagic design, but in practice I run into a lot of trouble and this just instantly kills the otherwise great product. Currently the entire YouTube space is full of people who have a similar problem. Resolve 16 does not start on Windows 10. If you are one of those people, I think you'll have the solution here. Firstly, I would like to draw your attention to the fact that the problem of not starting DaVinci 16 is different for different users. For some of them, the main screen opens and then fades out or just dies. For others like me, when you try to open the software, nothing happens. The third does not load individual modules. Because of this fact, not everyone has the same solution. But I have collected for you almost all the options, so don't worry. Let's start with the fix. First, and most importantly, check the requirements of the program for memory, processor, and video card. It is a crucial moment. Second, if your card is NVIDIA, make sure to update the card drivers with the latest ones by the manufacturer, firmware update, etc. Third, if you like me, try to start the program and nothing happened, but the program is in the task manager, then try out all outputs on the video card, because DaVinci may decide to show the main panel to other output that you don't currently using. Modern cards have 3-4 outputs, so check all of them. Fourth, in the Windows Firewall, give permission to the program and be sure to run the program as administrator. It is very important. The fifth and most important thing that worked for me at least was the following. On your PC press Start button, Settings, System, Display Settings of the Graphics card. From there, you can select a preview and add DaVinci Resolve to your preferred video card associated software. And all will be tip top. That was the only thing that worked for me. I know that Blackmagic Design is not guilty for the extremely nasty Windows 10, but I still think they have to test the system better on many standard machines and to work with Microsoft to clean up such bugs and problems. Also knowing the fact that the Blackmagic has officially signed drivers and is a trusted vendor in Microsoft's list, things definitely must be much much better with their software compared to the current state. Once again, I love their whole philosophy very much about affordable prices and I very much admire the idea to manage to replace four Adobe products at once with this program alone. In reality, you are replacing Adobe Premiere, Adobe Audition, After Effects and Adobe Speedgrade, perhaps, but after customer encounters similar issues, the product rating changes dramatically. I would ask you not to send me inquiries in the comments section down below about specific issues. Just follow the steps and everything will be fine. But still, I'm neither a Blackmagic design engineer or a Microsoft developer, so I can't fix all the computers in the world. The purpose of this video is to help as many people with a similar problem as possible. Actually, the same day when I managed to fix the non-starting problem, guess what? I was facing another huge, huge problem with DaVinci Resolve 16. It can't open MOV file. The file is from Panasonic GH5S, the container is MOV Full HD, 10-bit all-eye compression 25p, 200 megabits per second. This is not the highest quality. GH5S can shoot 400 megabits per second, so I chose 200 megabits to be easy on my SD card and to avoid problems. My PC is quite strong. The biggest i7 processor, top-notch ASRock motherboard, fast SSD, NVIDIA 1070 Ti video card, 32 gigs of RAM and HP Z24 color grading monitor. I have recorded 2 minute video and I was passionate and curious what I can achieve with DaVinci Resolve 16 and guess what? Again, big drawback of the software. It just says no video. It opens only the audio file. I try in Premiere 
and it works with some corks. The sound is choppy and it looks like playing it with double speed. I try to open the file with Windows Player and it works absolutely fine, so all the codecs are fine. Basically, Premiere works not correctly, but it shows the video and Resolve 16 simply not work at all with this MOV file. GH5 is the most popular video camera lately, so to make software that not work correctly is absolutely nonsense for me. Again, I will repeat that I love DaVinci Resolve and the whole philosophy and idea of the company, but my experience was so frustrating and with so many headaches that I will avoid future purchase of other of their products, or at least to think about the idea. I'm making this statement with pain in my heart but it is my own and fair info, my own feelings and emotions, and I'm not sponsored by Adobe or Avid or other competitors. Simply, this was my real life experience. That was yesterday. Today, I have this small thing that made some difference, or to be honest, a lot of difference. Yes, I bought DaVinci Resolve Studio version, and guess what? A lot of the problems are gone. Blackmagic Design team says that free version have very small limitations and that was true around version 14, but nowadays they strip a lot of things and push you to buy the original or studio version. But let me continue. Yes, some of the problems are gone with the full version, but again, another problem appear with studio version. When you play the sequence, there is no audio coming out of the speakers. If you again type in YouTube DaVinci no audio playback, you will see 1 million videos for this bug as well. Luckily, I will tell you how to fix this too. My card is Lexicon Ionix series, which is quite good and reliable prosumer card with Azure driver. The problem is in the driver settings most of the time, because by default, every video must have audio of 48 kHz, not 44 by 1 because of that DaVinci was not starting. Windows Media Player works, VLC Player works and Premiere works with those formats, even if my card is set as 44.1. How to fix the problem? Go to Control Panel, then Sound, click on your sound card, then Properties and then in the Advanced tab choose 48 kHz instead of 44.1 and all will work from now on. You can do the same in the Recordings tab for your sound card. That uh, were the most big bugs and issues with Resolve 16 that I had for the first couple of days. So to wrap up this episode, I will say that if Blackmagic Design teams see this video and they want somehow I to help their users, at least with some educational videos, they are welcome to contact me. Because I will repeat for the third or fourth time that I like this platform a lot. And I believe that after two or three years, it will be a real deal. That's all for today's edition of Electronic Box. Ladies and gentlemen, consider the option to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when a new video is added. Bye bye and see you in the next episode.